teaching you how, how to create your very own gradients in GIMP. So first off, you want to open up GIMP. I already have mine open. And click Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Gradients. And what this does is open up this funky little box, which is called the Gradients dialog. Now you want to click on this page icon. And what this will do is it will create a new gradient, and which you can edit. So this is pretty cool. So you right click, and you see there's left endpoints color and right endpoints color. So what that is, is this is the left endpoint, this black section, and the right endpoint is this white section. So by ch choosing left endpoints color, you can select which what you want the left side of the gradient to be. So I'll just use a bright red and right endpoints color and change it maybe to a teal cyan color, something like that. And um, and but th you can do this in. Oopsies, I forgot to explain about that. This white arrow, you can move it around, and it'll choose which how much of the gradient is your left endpoints color or right endpoints color. So if I put it like this, then maybe about 93 percent, something like that, would be this blue color, and the rest would be red. But if I put it this, it's opposite. So you can do whatever you want. Just leave it at center for that. But you can do all of this with the foreground to background gradient pretty much, other than the white arrow. But anyway, we'll show you what the gradient editor is good for. So you right click and click replicate segment. And I'll replicate just by two. As you can see, it gives you two separate gradient segments. And you get another white arrow and another black arrow. So by selecting one, by clicking on it, you can change the end uh, the endpoints colors, or if you want to create a smooth transition, you can right click and click flip segment, and now you'll have red to blue and back to red, and it gives you a neat effect. And you can rep do replicate as much as you can, and by replicating, say like six, then you can get this very neat tube-like effect that you can do that you can use for your images. So now that we have our gradient, you can save it as whatever you want. Just use Untitled 3. When you create a new image, like so, when you take your Blend tool, and you have this gradient selected, the one you just made, when you stroke, you get a very neat effect that you can change depending on how you create your gradient. So it's all up to your imagination and your creativity, and you can get pretty much whatever you want with this simple gradient tool. I like it a lot. Subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching.